H2C, H8 ADHD. Uh -huh. Somewhere along the road came asthma. B2 out of three, it ain't phased me. Man. For those who think I had it safely, huh? you hella mistake. Hey, you guys, how are y'all doing? So let's get right into the video. Um, Sam Santana and um, Angela Yee, and you know, whoever else is on the lip service. I have a podcast, I have watched a podcast before. This was before video, or this is before they started doing video, I think. Because I know I've watched the one with Cash Doll and Tammy Roman. That one was video. You know, that was funny as hell. It was funny as shit. Um, Angela Yee naming all them damn dolls. They killed the shit out of me. Dead doll. I can't. <laughs> but at any rate, um, I have watched the lip, uh, um, lip Service podcast. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I, I think this one was, you know, where they just put the background up and they just talked or whatever. But nonetheless... Um, Sin Santana was on there. Somebody decided to find a throwback of um, her being on there. It was a long time ago. And keep in mind now, Sin Santana is only... Sin... Alright, let's see. Sin Santana. I'm trying to find out. God damn it. Okay, October 20th, 1992. I was born in 1997. So she's only like five years older than me. I just turned 21. So keep in mind, this is a throwback interview. It's probably a couple years old. And if she's 26, 27 now, and I'm, because I'm going off, I'm 21. So I don't know, you know, if she's had a birthday already. I don't know. But she's 26, 27. She's around there. You know, so a couple years ago, she was only like 20 or something. You know what I'm saying? And we're young and dumb. We're allowed, you know, you know the saying, young and dumb. We're allowed to all make mistakes. And I will tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all, racism, colorism, for me, I don't care how old you are when you made that comment because if you made it young enough, then you were indoctrinated into it. So it was taught to you. So you've been taught that all your life. You know what I'm saying? If you made it too young enough. But once you get to a certain age, all that shit, it, uh, uh, certain shit, like for me, you know what I'm saying? Just to be with a one last money, nigga. No, uh-uh. I'm, I'm no longer, no. I don't like that. So that to me, right in there, he made some nice R&B music after that. You know, the Sorry song. I like it. I don't stream it. I don't support it. And I'm not one of those men that cares about who... I listen to all music. I listen to good music. I, good music, period. You know what I'm saying? I got some Ashley Tisdale in here. I got some Nuck If You Buck in here. I got some Cuban Doll in here. I got some um, Cardi B in here. I, I listen to everything. I don't care about genres. Or this, that, and the other. I got some Ruel in here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the songs that, you know what I'm saying? I call them white people music because that's what it is. But a lot of the songs that play on Pretty Little Liars, you know what I'm saying, in the background of the show, they're pretty songs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't soulful. You know what I'm saying? But they're pretty. They're nice, melodic. I got some of those on here. You know what I'm saying? So I got a little bit of everything. I don't really care about the genres. You know, I don't believe just because you black, you got to only listen to black, uh, you know, R&B, rap. You know what I'm saying? I've written songs of other genres that have yet to see the day of light, you know what I'm saying? When I find the right beats for them, I'll be able to, you know, we'll work into it. But um, right now, my main focus is R&B, rap, and hip-hop. But I've written songs of other genres. I'm not that stereotypical or music stereotypical person or whatever you want to call it. But um, with that being said, I listen to a bit of everything. So for me, I'm trying to figure out why the fuck I even said this in the first place now. <laughs> God damn. Sorry, y'all. I'm on intermittent fasting and I need to eat because it said we didn't hit 12. Yeah, it's 12 51 right now. I need to eat because my eating window is 12 to 8. Um, and then I'm going to work out after that and then probably have a protein shake. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, God damn. Why the fuck did I say that in the first place? God damn. 
At least y'all know I'm keeping it real with y'all. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, I said that because I said the thing about Justin Bieber. And um, I don't want people to be like, oh, you listen to Justin Bieber? I, I, really, I really don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. And I feel like that's one area why we can't have a lot of female rappers because you need support for males and females and a lot of men they try to you know say if you listen to a male or a female alone not you know a track where a male and a female are on it but just a female alone there's an issue with that you know what i'm saying and you know all my friends they know me if you ride in my car odds are we're probably listening to a female rapper you know what i'm saying i always root for the underdogs and i don't give a fuck what nobody's saying and if you don't like it well then you can walk your ass wherever you gotta go but <laughs> nonetheless so for me, there are certain lines that you don't cross. Colorist lines, racism lines, there's certain things you cannot come back from. You know what I'm saying? For me, this was not a situation where Sin Santana is unforgivable. You know what I'm saying? I listened to the audio. She said, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I don't think she should have said the part about black women having attitudes, but I feel like black men have told her that. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me. You're not going to sit here and convince me that black men haven't gassed her head up to say that. Like, keep it real. You know, ambiguity aside, since Santana, she's a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? Even with the weight gain that she's put on from the pregnancy, she's a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? It's a little ironic. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll get into that later. But um, she's a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get the vibe of, you know what I'm saying, um... A girl who, you know, a Hispanic girl trying to, you know, combat black women from black. I don't get that vibe from what she said. You know, she said the truth. She said the truth at the end of the day. And I feel like black women in this situation, what y'all need to do is not even respond to her at all. Allow black men to respond to her. I want to see how that goes. That would be very interesting. Is allow black men to see how, or to respond to her. Because that's the shit that they have to answer to. Because at the end of the day, I, she's from New York. I have believed... That there's been a lot of men from Queens, Brooklyn, Dykeman, pick one, Brownsville, that have probably gassed her head up and told her, Ma, you cute. You know what I'm saying? You look like a black girl. You know, you got the ass of one or the boobs of one or whatever, but you don't got all that attitude. I'm sure that men have told her that. I'm sure of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure I'm sure she's heard that from, uh, from one of them before. You know what I'm saying? She ain't just put that in her head out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, I don't think she needed to apologize for anything. I do think she needed to apologize, you know, it, well, no, actually I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it was kind of, she was young and dumb at the time, I'm assuming, because this video, it clip is a couple years old, you know what I'm saying? I don't think she should have said, I mean, black women don't take that personal. Maybe she could have worded that a little bit differently. I don't think it warranted a, a, an apology though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure she's been told that. All she needed to do for me was come out and say, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that's what I've been told. You know what I'm saying? That could have made it a more constructive conversation. And, you know, then instead of black women talking about, but you're begging your man who is black to give you dick on TV. Because, I mean, let's just be honest. This ain't the most convenient time for that to come out. <laughs> Given the fact that she had to ju ju uh, beg Joe Budden for some sex. You know what I'm saying? At the beginning of the Loving Hip Hop. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Instead of black women coming to her like that, they probably could have said, you know, they probably could have had some real conversations on it. You know what I'm saying? And we could have some of that mending that she's talking about that's missing in between Latino women and black women. And I do feel like some of that is due to the fact that black men throw our own, we black men throw our own under the bus and um, in light of other women. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck if you're in a racial date. I don't care. That's your business. But you do not have to down your own people. You know, when a white man sorts out black women, he does not down white women. You know what I'm saying? No other race does this shit. When Asian men date interracially, they don't sit there and down their women. We are the only race of men who do that shit. Stop doing that shit. And secondly, really and truly, your preference, nobody really gives a fuck what your preference is, bro. You don't have to voice that to everybody either. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to voice it. You don't have to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to tell people that. We will see it. There are these things called paparazzi, especially if you're famous. And that's why I say this, because to be famous men who do this a lot. There are these things called paparazzi. They follow you around. We see who you date. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we will see who you are into. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to tell nobody. We will see. We will find out. 
you don't need to, and then I, it's just I, the publication of it, the publicizing of it, it, it. That to me, that area is what pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? Because there are little girls and young girls who, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they listening while they bigger sisters listen to the stuff, or with, with a parents or you know. They, there's children. There's youth to be worried about. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want dark skinned women or dark skinned girls or girls of darker shades. You know brown skin, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, to be feeling inferior because of what a Kodak says or what a this says, especially when this looks like something that came off my shoe. Like, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Half of the outrage of Kodak Black even saying something was the fact that he looks to how he looks. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he was Tay Diggs or somebody that women consider attractive, you know, a Denzel, I can see that outrage for that. You know what I'm saying? And that would be dumb anyways because you're going after your main market source, which is black men, women. And that's another thing. I can see why these women get mad, you know, when these men do that stuff like that. Or, you know what I'm saying, date outside their race because you're, pro you're marketed to black women. You know what I'm saying? So one would think, you know, you naturally want to believe that somebody's going to date a black, uh, a black woman because that's their audience. You know what I'm saying? Now, if they don't, but they also don't down them, you know what I'm saying? Then I can be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you like your cottage cheese, if you like your rotten milk, you know what I'm saying? If you like your wine thong thing, do your thing, your thing, you know what I'm saying? If you like you poppy, you know, whatever, you date. You know, if you like it, I love it. I don't care. But just don't down black women in the process. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I do feel like that's a big part of the tension in between the Latino and the black community. Also, you know, another thing that plays into it is the, the anti-blackness of the Latin community. And people like Amar Lenegger have brought light, really brought light to that. You know what I'm saying? I also feel like it may be something on, 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 a New York, on a New York tip. It might be something down there. You know, maybe the black women and Latino women don't get along. You know what I'm saying? In certain areas of New York. But you know what I'm saying? With, you know, the coming up of Cardi B and uh, Marlon Negra, you've seen, you know what I'm saying, the tensions between the Afro-Latin community and the Latin community and, you know, at Latins who don't want to claim black. So I definitely understand people's um, outrage, but I do feel like they should read into what she was saying first. To me, she really said nothing wrong. I do feel like some black man gets her head up. And she is pretty. Now, if she's ugly, then, then that should be different. But she she's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure some black men have told her that. I feel like she could have worded it a little differently. And had she had apologized a little differently, it could have went more constructive and brought forth and put the accountability and brought forth black women putting the accountability on black men. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to rush to their defense, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it could have been, it could have went a little smoothlier, you know what I'm saying? And then her talking about the whole Spanish thing and this, that, and the other. I mean, I really don't know how to feel on there. You know, last night I made the comment when I had just seen it popping up on Instagram before I had even seen anything. And I was like, I'm really not surprised though, because she's Dominican, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, them having self hating problems and this, that, and the other. I thought that's where she was coming from. You know what I'm saying? And she addressed her having a big nose and nappy hair, but she says that, you know what I'm saying, she never really knew what an Afro-Latina was. And to be honest, she's young. I mean, really, I just told y'all, she's only five years older than me. So she could be lying, or she could be full of shit, but she could also be telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being, give, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what it was. Granted, she is one, but I didn't know what it was until Amara Negra. Or actually, until Cardi B, and then next, Amara Lenever. You know, Cardi B said something about it, or it was in a uh, magazine or something like that. And I was just like, oh, okay. But I didn't really get a full explanation until Amara Lenever. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you need those, you know what I'm saying, people to come out, those real representers and those representations to come out and explain what this is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Lala Anthony's. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it just, for me, um, For me, I think it was, I think it could have been handled a little bit more better and she could have said things a little bit better. But as for all the outrage, I really don't think it's necessary. I don't think we have to sit here and taunt her for the fact that her black man was making her big mistake, especially when she's, she like, y'all don't know how she's feeling. She just had a baby. You know what I'm saying? I always say this, you know, and me, you know, learning a lot about pregnancy from my neighbor. You are pregnant even after you have the baby. You know what I'm saying? Your body will forever be changed. You know what I'm saying? So she can be going through postpartum depression. I don't want her to read the right, wrong comment 
and try to overdose on some pills or something. Like, what we say to these celebrities, yeah, we call it trolling or roasting or this, that, and that, but what we say to them, it really does take effect on them. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to hold people accountable, and if you said some stupid shit like Future did on the R. Kelly topic, you know what I'm saying, or anybody else does, it's one thing to hold people to task, but it's another thing to just be an asshole, you know what I'm saying, and I would hate, I, and the same people who was talking that shit about, oh, that's why you having to beg your black man for sex, if she went there and overdosed with some pills, or, you know what I'm saying, try to kill herself, y'all would be flip-flop just like that, you know what I'm saying, so for me, it just comes down to, we just need to, you know, watch how we treat each other, watch what we say, definitely, but she apologized at the end of the day, she apologized, and I don't even think she needed to, I just think she should have said it a little bit differently. But I don't think she needs to apologize because at the end of the day, the truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? And um, so that's pretty much how I feel in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Um, next time, if something does, it, I say if, but it will happen. If something does happen, like this again, maybe not with Santana, but somebody else, black women, instead of, you know, going at them, unless they come for black women. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe what she was saying, she was reciting what she had heard from black men. They do sit there and tell them, oh, you don't have an attitude. That's why I've heard black men say that before. Oh, I date, I don't date black girls so they have attitudes. I've heard that. Not, not verbatim or not on here watching a video, but I've heard that. I've heard it with my own two ears. You know what I'm saying? In one, out the other. Because I was like, okay, well, we can't be friends. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I believe she was saying that verbatim. She heard, or she was saying what she heard. She was repeating what she heard. I don't think she was saying black women have attitudes. But she apologized. Let's just move on from this. Let her have her little learning experience. Be careful how you word stuff. I do think that conversation does ooh, excuse me, need to be had. Maybe if it was a panel of her and some other black women and it was an open discussion, I might feel a little bit more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? With her saying it there. But nonetheless, she apologized. You know, let bygones be bygones. Let her learn from the experience. Don't sit here and taunt that woman and chastise her. She got a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we all learn from experience. And sometimes we got to make mistakes. Sometimes we fuck up. It is what it is. That's my take pretty much on the situation. And next time something like this does happen, um, to finish what I was going to say, black women, instead of going at that person, unless they personally come for black women when they say it, if they just say black men have told me, you know, I want to date you because you don't come at them. Let black men answer for them. I would be so interested to see that. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all pretty much Mariah Lynn, that whole situation. The um, interview that um, I think I mentioned it in past videos. But um, the interview where um, the interviewer asked her or some record label told Mariah Lynn about her saying the um, N-word. Which also to me, it didn't bother me that since that, because I assumed that she was, I, I assumed she was Dominican. And she, she has some African features. So, I mean, like, it would be hot, it would be um, hypocritical of me to say that because, I mean, that's why it doesn't bother me with Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? Granted, since never, you know what I'm saying? Once you come out and try to say you're not black and we can obviously see it, then I have a problem with it. But, I mean, I don't need you to come up on here and be like, I'm Dominican, I'm black. You know, I, I don't need you to do all that either. Like, I mean, we can kind of see her features, you know what I'm saying, feature-wise. However, Mariah Lynn is clearly 100% white. You know what I'm saying? She's Italian and Puerto Rican, but she white. She white. Let's keep it real. Um, if they start deportation, if they start deporting people, her ass ain't going nowhere. She white. <laughs> so with that being said, you know, the dude, uh, they were telling this story about how this record company wanted to sign her, but they said they're not going to, nobody's going to want or support, or they're not going to sign a white girl co-signing the, or co-sign a white girl using the N-word in, in her music. You know what I'm saying? And before she even said anything, here to come the black man telling some, but she's Hispanic though. Bruh, shut up. I still want to punch the shit out of whoever that is. Oh my God. But nonetheless, y'all see how y'all kind of Mariah landed for black women, men. They didn't have to answer to what Sin said because y'all came in and went at her. And I'm not saying y'all necessarily went at her for black men, but you came at her offense, or you offend, or you went at her in offense, regardless. So black men didn't even have to answer for the fact that what the shit that she recited on that show, she has been told it before in her life. You know what I'm saying? So next time, I think black men, women should sit back and allow black men to respond to that and see what comes out. That'll be interesting. 
But nonetheless, um, I don't have no guilt on my head because I ain't never sat here and told no Hispanic girl. I've dated some Hispanic girls before, but I ain't never sat there and told them, oh, I want you because, you know, black women have address. I've never had to down my own race to do that. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Do y'all think Sin should have apologized or do y'all think she shouldn't have? Do y'all think there's validity in what she said? Um, and y'all let me know what y'all think and I will catch y'all on the next video. Peace.